Yeah, I had a pretty good indication that uh, the Brisbane were going to take me or they were interested in having me on their list. Uh, I think it all just depended on uh, when the other bid from another club came uh, as to whether they were going to pick me up and um, yeah, ended up getting uh, bid on by Fremantle and yeah, they matched the bid which was uh, yeah, really exciting and uh, it was nice to be at home and play for the club you grew up supporting. So. With pick 43, Brisbane have matched Fremantle's bid for Connor Ballenden from Brisbane. What the biggest thing I found when I first got to the club is uh, the amount of time that you're here. Uh, you're here pretty much five days a week where you're you know, constantly doing things. Uh, a lot of the time it's not all physical, so it can be quite the uh, mentally draining time as well. So when you're looking through meetings and footage and sitting through all sorts of different things, uh, half the time it's the mental stuff that takes it out of you and sometimes the physical uh, training is actually sometimes somewhat of a break. But yeah, just the intensity of training and the time that you're here is the biggest change. Square in the Smith direction at the back, Ballenden. Smith just kept Max Spencer busy while Ballenden floated over the back. Side 50, big five from behind. Good, strong mark taken. Well, very good, Connor Ballenden, being serviceable tonight as well. Goes back and pops it through for the Brisbane Lions. When, when you're playing in the Nifal, you almost have a separate little, separate little team culture to the seniors. Um, we know that. The goal of an AFL list is to play AFL, but we know that when you're in the NEFL, you really need to buy into what we're doing here. And we get the exact same coaching as the AFL do. So, you know, it's all about playing a role and trying your hardest and, you know, having those consistent performances to say that you're ready to play AFL. And I think the NEFL development coaches have been really good with that. And they, yeah, they really push you to have an AFL standard about everything you do. I had a fracture in my cheekbone and an eye socket, which kept me out for a month. It was difficult. Uh, I've never really had any serious injury so far. So uh, when that did happen, I was a little bit, I didn't really know how to take it at first. Uh, basically just spoke to some of the boys in, who were already in rehab and they just said, you know, the biggest thing is that you just got to have the, a positive attitude towards everything and know that it may only be in a month of football, but you can get a lot of out of it, uh, you know, improve your strength and fitness and that sort of stuff. So I just try to attack my rehab the best I could and have a positive frame of mind. Uh, I guess you can have short and long-term goals. I think short-term goals for the off season would, uh, obviously be improve my running and my strength and a lot of the craft as a tall forward and ruckman just improve on that craft and then obviously my long-term goal next year would I'd love to get my chance to play senior football and yeah hopefully you know try to cement my position there as a young guy and yeah really just develop and give my best next year. So.